Hello, welcome back to another video on Vedic Astrology. In this video, I am going to reveal the answers to Deepa Astro quiz number one. The whole idea of this was uh, to make you aware of uh, finding the mistakes very quickly without using Anchang's ephemeris or uh, computer software. Mistake number one is the sun. Between mid-Jan and mid-Feb, the sun can only be here. Okay, So, you have to write here uh, sun. This is uh, 0 degrees and the sun enters this place in mid-April, stays here for a month. So, the May middle to June middle is here and so on. So, you will find that it is... The sun is always here between mid-Jan and mid-Feb. So since the date of birth is Jan 25. The next mistake is, this is, uh, this is wrong. And uh, you can only have the ascendant over here. That is because the sun and the ascendant will be together at sunrise. Because the ascendant is the rising sign at the time of your birth. So, at, at sunrise, the sun and the ascendant will be in the same spot. So, that is mistake number two. Mistake number three is, the star is Uttra Falguni. And Uttra Falguni, there is one part here in uh, Simha or Leo and three parts here in Kanya or uh, Virgo. So, you can only have the moon over here or here. And, uh, and in this case, actually, the moon is over here. Mistake number three is the Sun and Mercury cannot be so far away. Lots of people got this answer right. So in this case, the, on this date, Mercury is over here. The maximum Mercury could have been is either with the Sun or one sign behind or one sign greater. That's because Mercury can never be farther away than 28 degrees. It's always close to the Sun. So you can only have it here, here or over the, with the sun. Mistake number five is Venus can't be so far away from the sun. So remove Venus from here. And uh, in this case, Venus is over here on this date. But suppose you don't know uh, where it was. Maximum it can be here, here or here or here. The uh, distance it can go uh, from the sun is uh, somewhere between 45 degrees to 47 degrees and never greater than 45 to 47 degrees. In any horoscope, if you see Venus beyond 47 degrees on either side of the sun, then true, definitely it is wrong. Then the next one is, um, uh, lots of people got this answer. Mars is missing. So the first thing that you do in any horoscope is count the number of grahas or planets. You must have nine and then find, search for where is the ascendant. That makes this as a 10. So there are 10 factors, the most important ones in the horoscope and Mars is not anywhere here or in this case Mars is over here. You don't have space to write it here. So Mars is over here in this case. But you can't find where Mars is without using a panchang or an ephemeris. Then the next one is almost 100 out of 100 everybody got this. Uh, Rahu and Ketu are not on the same axis which is um, they are not 180 degrees apart. Uh, you count from Rahu, it should always be the 7th and from Ketu you count Rahu must be the 7th. So lots of people thought, uh, you know, Ketu is here. So that's how it is. Uh, they thought that Ketu was here. But, okay, at least this one was, uh, even if they didn't know where Rahu and Ketu was, at least this is a glaring mistake which uh, none of us should miss. So Rahu and Ketu can only be in a straight line like this, 180 degrees apart. So let's come to where is Jupiter. Now, you must have a rough idea of where Rahu, Saturn and Jupiter were in 1950. So, because most of the horoscopes that you see will be definitely beyond the 1950s. So, in 1950, Jupiter was here in Makara, debilitated. And you must also know that Jupiter moves from one sign to another in a year. So, 1950, let's assume it was here. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55 and go on like this. 12 years plus 15. So, 62, it must have been here. So, Jupiter is debilitated. Many people got this right. 
but probably because they knew uh, maybe in 1962 Jupiter was here. But the simpler way is to know in 1950 it was here and uh, just do it in a rough method using uh, a year for Jupiter. Then the next one is where is Saturn? In the year 1950, Saturn was here. So uh, Saturn makes <coughs> Saturn takes uh, 30 years to make one full round. So 1950 it is here, and uh, 1980 it will be here. But in 1962 it obviously cannot be here. So assume that if you know that Saturn takes 2.5 years in every sign. So so Saturn must have been here in 1950 then uh, 52 and a half and so on if you keep doing this in uh, 1961 or 62 etc you will get mostly Saturn here and in this case Saturn is really here in Makara maybe here or here but not but not in uh, Cancer which is impossible and now to find out whether so this is the rough uh, you know, the, the corrected uh, horoscope but the only uh, difference is uh, we know that in 1950 Rahu was here and in 1962 it could not have been here. We now have to find out uh, where it may have been. Uh, in 1962, Rahu moves uh, backwards, unlike other grahas which go uh, in clockwise manner, and Rahu goes backwards. It takes 1.5 years in each sign. So say 1.5 years, 3 years, 4.5 and so on. You keep adding. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 into 1.5 is uh, 12 years, so 1950 plus 1962, Rahu can only be here. And in this case, it was in that place, so this rough method also works. So that brings uh, Ketu here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you have 7 Grahas, and this is the Ascendant, so therefore Ascendant is also here. This is a peculiar horoscope. Uh, seven planets in Lagna and uh, you have Rahu in the seventh and Moon in the eighth. Everything is clean on that particular day. Yeah, the, on in, on Feb, fifth somewhere, even the Moon had come here and all the eight Grahas were together. 